the leaders of our country, of America, don't give a damn about the country because they're systematically running it into the ground as we speak more and more and more. You guys seen the new Hamas and I'm not going to go too far into it as far as, you know, the Palestine, the, the Palestinians and the Israelis. If you go back and look at the history guys, it's been colonized. The colonizers put British and the US, they colonized and put Israel in position and they back Israel. That's why Israel hasn't lost a war in Palestine. So all in all, me saying all that, Israel's not gonna lose the war because they're backed by the, the countries with the dough. Now, speaking of countries with the dough, we are quickly running out of dough. Student loans just resumed. We have women that can't afford student loans. People, companies are going woke and they're going broke. I think Victoria's Secret was the last one that did it. And they're now moving away from the wokeism. Then we have rent moratoriums that are reoccurring again. People are having to pay back on the rent that they were delayed. People can't pay that off. And then on top of that, we have the Ukraine war. That Ukraine between Russia that we are funding. Billions of dollars as we speak for a country that has always been Russia. They even display and have Russian culture. Next, we have the Hamas thing that we're funding billions of dollars to because Biden clearly came out and said that we're backing Israel. It is what it is. I'm not saying I'm for it or against it. I'm just saying we're spending money, billions of dollars on it. Next we got, I know guys, it just keeps going. The money just keeps going and keeps flowing out instead of in. Next, we made a deal with Taiwan to fund them at least two to three billion dollars every year until 2027. Not only is student loan debt a thing, but debt, American debt in general, is out of control. So we're funding wars that in all actuality, we have no business being over there in, unless we're allies with them. I understand maybe the Israelis, but the other wars, I'm like, oh my God. Like, I get it. We have allies. We have certain business interests that we have over in these countries, which are why we want to maintain and control them. But we've gotten to a space in our country where they're more worried about outsiders than we are about the insiders. Don't even get me started about the migrant crisis going on in Chicago, New York, Texas, California, so bad that they have nowhere to house these people. They're systematically destroying the country. And in my, there's not enough guys. I hear some guys, but there's not enough guys as a collective 
speaking out about it in order for it to for it to change. Something's got to happen with this financial stuff. Some, some kind of financial collapse is about to happen. I can't tell you whether it's five years from now, but guys, from all the debt that we're collecting and all the money we have going out and we don't have enough coming in and we just keep printing money, which is devaluing our dollar, there is going to be some harsh consequences the leaders like I said either have their own interests that they're going towards in these positions of power because nothing is making sense right now like nothing at all like the UAW, why would you, like, they do know the longer they pro, they prolong this, this just proves the, the business model of Tesla, which is just going to move us closer to electric vehicles and move us closer to robotic factory workers, which are going to take your jobs. Or they're going to outsource them to different countries that are going to work harder. Because that's why we're outsourcing so many things because the American people aren't productive. And plus, they know it's not just that. It could be that. It's one factor of it. But they can just send it over somewhere else and pay the people less and they'll work harder for it. The world. And this is when it comes to relationships. When you guys, I know right now, within the next, either now, either you've already witnessed it, or you are within the next three to five years, or the next year or so, you're going to be going on dates, and you're going to be hearing women talk about, um, I'm broke, complaining about finances, I'm in debt. I'm already hearing it. That's one of their first talking points. I was watching one guy and he said the rates at which sugar daddies are going up, they're skyrocketing right now because women are in need and women can't manage money. They've been sold. This is again, they've been lied to. They've been lied to to go get these master's degrees, all these PhDs that don't matter and just get in the six figures worth of student loan debt and have no way to pay it back. Indentured servitude. On top of that, we have inflation skyrocketing. I heard, I seen something where California workers, California fast food workers were making like $22 an hour. I'm like, That's a job that's going to be taken by robots eventually because it's not, it's remedial work. It's not anything hard. You take the order, you get the card, you put the card in, you, you get, take the money, you put the change in, you type it back, the machine gives you back the money, you pay it back to them, you give them the food, have a nice day. And they don't even realize if they boost up their salaries, that means the company has to boost up the prices. So everything's just gonna inflate in order to keep up and maintain profits. Yo. We're going towards socialism, guys, whether you like it or not. It's inevitable. We're too far down the road. So, I just want to come in and let you guys know, get you guys' thoughts on this, because it's, I'm honestly thinking about leaving the country, man, once I get 
myself in a good position, having a house here and then have a house somewhere else. Because this is getting crazy. The politicians, the dark, the dark triad traits, the narcissism, the Machiavelli, all this, psych the psychopathy, all this stuff is rearing its ugly head. And all of it is running the country into the ground at a warp speed. We are making progress in certain areas, in certain areas, we haven't made any. How can we, some of these Republican guys sit up here, like most of the, all, most of their talking points should be about lowering inflation. But they spend it talking about stuff that people don't even care about. Anyway, let me get off my rant for a little bit. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. You guys have a good day, good week. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.